Hey, what's up guys? It is DJ. Today we got new and updated mods released for Farm Sim 22. A total 13 mods dropped. All platforms got three new and three updates. And PC Mac players got four new and three updates. Of course, we'll look at all the new ones plus customization and we will review everything that got an update. Starting off today with new ones for all platforms with Fiat Agri 90 series. We do have a couple Fiat Agri's, but just know that this is the 90 on it. It's got a 160 or 180 horsepower on there. Manual plus power shift transmission. We also have 280 liters of fuel and it goes 21 miles an hour. 7.2 tons if it matters to you. Wheel options. We have quite a few different options here. So we start with Trelleborg. We have Michelin, Continental, Bredestein, and back in. And we do have those uh, real interesting narrow tires. I like these. Some people don't. And then we have a normal standard tire as well. Uh, mechanical back arms. That's going to be the back hydraulic figuration. We've also got hydraulic back arms and back and forth between those. Exhaust configuration. We have low air filter or high. We also have high number two and a chrome exhaust with the low high and the back down to the first one. Fender configurations. We have none. Front fenders. No front fenders, which I think adds the ones in the back, takes them away. Only back, no backside, no wheel guard whatsoever, and then all. So you've got that if you want it. Beacon and configurations we have left. We got right. We got none. We got both. And that is it. Weight holder. <laughs> we've got a weight holder in the front. Front weight, which looks to weigh about 400 kilograms. And then we have the front weight with the antenna on the front of it. So you can kind of see where the front of your tractor is. And that is it. Doesn't look like we have a front three point, but we have mods for that. And then you have your license plate. Let's get ourselves one of these and see what we can get into. Right off the bat, sounds pretty good. Let's see, what can we do? We can open up the back window. We can also open up the very top. And it looks like, yes, the driver's side door. So there you go, quite a few things that we could do with this. And the interior looks awesome. Next up from Ross and Mods is the Lizard Easy Scrape Yard Scraper. I was actually gonna talk about this in Farm Sub News today, but there was so much going on. I was like, well, we'll talk about it tomorrow, but well, it's already here. So there you go. Uh, what this does is an ideal implement for cleaning animal pens and moving other bulk items, commonly found on dairy farms for clearing yards and cow cubicles. Driving over the bulk contents fills this little bit and lifting the implement dumps the contents out. So you can see driving over it, we'll kind of put it in there and then well, it'll go out because there's no bottom on it. It weighs half a ton by itself. It requires 25 horsepower. So pretty much anything could run this. It's a two meters at 12 miles an hour. We have a tractor triangle hookup if you prefer that. We also have a three point. Let's use the Fiat. Let's hook up to it and get an idea of how it works because it might still be a little bit confusing. At least reading uh, makes it a little confusing to me. So we start in the raised portion. Everything's still controlled uh, by the, the main tractor itself. Let's see, we'll go ahead and drop this down. So we've got grass here. What, what am I, what am I doing? I feel like I'm, ah, ha, ha, there we go. So looks like it's kind of moving stuff out of the way. And when we lift, everything just kind of disappears. Ah, going forward doesn't do anything, but backing up certainly does. However, it doesn't look like it's dropping anything in there for us. Yeah, it just kind of pushes it to the side, I guess. And lastly, today we have a new placeable for all platforms. This is the old shed. If it's going to cost you $15,000, we could come up here and do that. Let's see, do we have any lights in here? Doesn't look like it. it's just a shed. And we've got a little decoration on the outside as well. Easy to find, jump into buildings, jump into sheds. Doesn't look like we have any color options. So what you see is what you get. All right, let's make our way over to some updates for our platforms. The very first one is large old chicken coop version number two. Widening of the main door, fix the bug with the hopper collision, increase the time to lift the distributor, added a marker to indicate the lever to lift the distributor, modification of the distributor collision, light offset of the trigger of animals, changing of the trigger for lights in the silo room, and other minor fixes. A lot of distributors and triggers. We also have an update to the slatted cow shed. Slated? All right. Uh, version 1.3. Add a manure heap inside the shed. Increase the cow capacity from 100 to 150 and increase the feed capacity as well. I wonder if it says what the feed capacity is. Uh, 
does not say. And thirdly, we have an update to Grape Production Pack version 2.001. Addition of the unpacked grape loading trigger icon on the grape processing plan adjusted the size of the summary panel on the grape processing plan, which was partially hidden by an air conditioning pack. Pack? Air conditioning pack. Okay. Updated the summary panel, addition of the available equipment and pallet, removal of the staircase railings that were sinking into the ground in the bottling plant, a correction of the 3D on the bottling plant offset concrete element. Jumping over to some new ones for PC and Mac players, we have the Mega Light 3 from Sid Monning and JHHG. My understanding was they were trying to get branding for Mega for Farm Sim and I kind of thought they already had, but it looks like that is not the case, at least for now. Hopefully soon in the future, maybe we'll get a lizard version of this or a proper mega version. Anyway, we have three mods to talk about. The first one is the Light 60 M3. 60,000 liters, as you would expect, and waste. Well, as much as that Fiat did, 7.5 tons. Wheel setups, we have standard, we have standard two, and back to regular standard again. So just changes the rims, not the wheels themselves. Decal colors, we have white, we have black. And back and forth between those, pretty much everything that is white will be black, but everything that's red or yellow stays that way, but at least for now. Extra wheel, we've got yes or no. Basically, we have standard or two wheels, which is kind of cool. <laughs> Very nice. Cover, we have yes and no, and we're going to leave cover on because we have color options for quite a few things here so starting off with the main color we have quite a few grays we've got some beiges and we've got all kinds of nifty colors as well Ooh, blue <laughs> i like that blue doesn't look good with this setup but it does look good nonetheless we'll go back to gray reflectors we have orange yellow and then we even have white reflectors so if you can imagine right through there uh, one thing the reflectors stay on you can't take them off cover colors we've got a whole lot of colors through there we'll just go with the neon green cover stripes strips sorry you've got those so kind of blend in a little bit better and then of course rim colors are rim colors a lot of grays a little silver chrome and black then we have the mega timber long also from sid and jhhg this one weighs a little bit lighter 6.5 tons will set up exactly the same here extra wheels we have just one on this one then we have a main color so that's going to be your frame then we have a design color which is going to be the sides and then we have rim colors exactly the same and to tie it all together we have the mega mario 2 dolly now there are no hitches on the very back, and, and actually somebody in my Discord, uh, Mr. BB747CA, he was asking about this, and unfortunately there are no trailer hitches on the backs of these, uh, which kind of stinks, but I guess is what it is in real life. Maybe they don't have them, so same thing here. So this dolly is going to be only for pulling them, and we do have a PTO, so you know, there is that. Weighs 3.6 tons by itself, which is quite a bit for a dolly. Wheel setups, we have the exact same setups for everything else. Fenders, we've got some nice fenders. Uh, main color options, this is going to be the frame, so kind of matches everything else. Plus, your rim colors are exactly the same. These are some really, really nice mods. I mean, really, really good looking mods. And I super duper hope that we get to see these on console. And your fourth and final new one for PC and Mac players today is the Sitman WA600 uh, Delphin. <laughs> Interesting word. 6.6 thousand liters, and that's going to be uh, sorry or digestate with 2.4 weight, 60 horsepower, 10 meters spread at nine miles an hour. So this is going to be good for smaller sized uh, cattle or or pig operations where you want that slurry. This is actually really good for that. Well, brands we have Trilobog, a Michelin, BKT, but it's done it back in again. You can't change those up, but you can change the brand, which is cool, and they're all a little bit different. Pipe, yes or no? It's purely visual so that's up to you uh decals we have a couple different decals on here if you want to go with those main color hope you like green and then design color hey that's going to be the uh pipes on there and they don't have to be green well two of the colors aren't anyway what color is that that's pretty good. All right, let's end it out today with some updates for PC and Mac players. First one is production revamp version 142. Fixed bug with manually spawning logs. Second is combine experience version 1003. Fixed conflict with the vehicle control add-on mod when using keep speed on dedicated server and increase the limit speed for forge harvesters to work faster. And an update to wardrobe plus version number two. They've added support for more clothing variants and added support for... 
custom coloring? Well, guys, that is it for today's new mod video. Hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like, get subscribed if you're new and join the Go Ham fam. Double check that notification bell. That way you never miss daily farm sim videos here on the channel. Speaking of those daily videos, we got farm sim news already released. Talked about quite a few things. Tomorrow's going to be a big news day as well, so stay tuned for that. And of course, if you haven't followed any other social medias or maybe you like shorter form content, check out the YouTube shorts, Facebook reels, etc. All being said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later.